Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Naruto Shippuden episode 172. What happened last time? Last time Naruto arrived at Pain. Uh, <laughs> he arrived, he is, they had a little bit of a talk, but now we're gonna seemingly get into the, like, the full backstory of Pain here. Indeed. Hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, support the official release, check out Patreon and linked in the description to get a week ahead as well as uncuts. Let's go. Naruto Shippuden episode 172. So, update on how you, what you're thinking of pain. What are um, your thoughts on pain so far? Um, I don't know, I still, like, don't think that his plan is the best plan. Mm -hmm. Um. What about them, though, at this point? Like, you still, you, you're not a big fan? <laughs> based um, on what they've no, done. No, not really, but I'd be interested <laughs> to see... I still am interested to see the backstory. Yeah. And I'd be interested to see what Naruto has to say about that. J just because it's... But you're not a big fan of villains in, in a no. in, most of the time. Like, you usually, like, don't... Usually, okay, a cool the, factor isn't a big deal for no, you. No, even if even if I can s sort of sympathize with them, like, even if they have a sad backstory or whatever, it's like, I'm s to me, that doesn't excuse anything that you've done. Like, yeah. if you are a bad person because of something bad that happened to you, I really it's, care. it's somewhat understandable, but you, cho like, you still went down that path. You're a big fan of holding yeah. people accountable for their actions, regardless. Regardless yeah. of like what's been done to them, it's like the same shit. Like Naruto had a fucking horrible life. Yeah, and he, but he like spun that in a positive way. And I not, I know not everyone can do that, but I don't, I don't think, I, I don't. You don't think find it admirable okay. to to, you know, just turn into the villain. I guess. Yeah. Are you watching? The children of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, here we go. Very well. We'll tell you everything about our pain. Nagato, it's a waste of time. Just deal with him now. Wait, Conan. I want to hear the response he comes up with. Besides, I doubt I could take him down too easily. First of these was the death of my parents. The hidden rain village had been caught up in the great nation's war and became a battlefield. <laughs> and yet? Yeah. Oh, our first meal in four days. No, three days. Whatever. Let's just eat. I'm starving here. We should search the rest of this place out. We might find more stuff. Let's get outside. Oh, they're distracted. What if they see us, Father? I'm scared. Don't worry now. Let's just go and be completely quiet. Man, that's oh my good. god, I'm terrified right now. What was your first clue? What did How could we mistake them for the enemy? Damn it. We'll go with it. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't have any idea that there were still any civilians left out here in the war zone. I'm so sorry, kid. Here. 
It's really interesting that their houses look like that. Like domes? Yeah, that's kind of cool. I've endured it to this very day. That pain transformed into hate, but it also brought my powers into bloom. It was only much later that I realized that I was the one who killed those two leaf ninja. He buried them all by himself. That's really messed up. Food was so scarce, I was forced to leave my home. ourselves right now. I'm very sorry. Try somewhere else. <sighs> Reminds me of Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> Just so greedy. It's like the bread's not gonna be good forever either. No. You couldn't have given him like half a bun. <laughs> It's not greed that's too strong. It's fucking really rough in a war. But, like, that, that was a lot. That couldn't have been their only food. This land is so weird. Like, nothing even seems to be, like, growing. It's so like, waterlogged. It, yeah. It's raining all the fucking time. It's, all, it's just a mud pit of a country. If you think about it, like, mm -hmm. geologically, it's between, like, the desert of the Land of Wind and then the mountains of the Land of Stone. So it's just, like, this weird border place where it's just so fucking rainy. Oh. Here. Breathe slowly. That's a lot. That's a lot. dog. dog. <laughs> I would be worried that it would make the dogs sick because dogs really aren't supposed to have bread. Well, they're not supposed to starve either, so. No. And a dog to boot. What's your name? Chibi. Well, you sure have a weird name. Chibi? Not me. That's the dog's name. That's how we met. Could you please give us some food, sir? Just a little will do. Please help us out. I'm not just gonna hand out fish for free. Go on, scram! Stingy bastard! <laughs> That's a huge it's fucking fish. tuna. And the dog? Hey, you come back! Oh. These food stalls are packed I, with what, food for like a I'm starving thinking. country. Holy shit. Like it's many different kinds of food and like well, I think they just might not, like, here they're not in, like, the war zone. They're probably out of it. True. But they probably, like, are a lot of these, like, orphans running around, f like, from places that were affected. Yeah. There was no system for helping orphans in that small, chaos-ridden nation. Thievery became the only way for us to survive. We had no other choice. But even under such harsh circumstances, Yahiko never abandoned hope. Yahiko was always optimistic. I've got big dreams to make come true. Huh? World domination. <laughs> world domination? What? Seriously? God damn it, don't tell him that. <laughs> Once I rule the world, we'll never have to go through this kind of suffering again. Yeah, that'd be nice. And if I die like this without trying to reach my goals, then my mom and dad's souls won't ever rest in peace. Ain't that right, Conan? If we rule the world, then we can do whatever we want to do. You know, you're right. It'd be just like we were all gods. You think we could get rid of war, too? 
Just bombing fucking war orphans. Man, that better not have killed that dog. Oh. Just in general. They just walked into a battlefield. Oh. oh. useless fighting doesn't stop then I'll become the god of this world and make it stop that's when Yahiko's dream became my dream oh chibi <laughs> so cute Nagato quit crying all the time if you only cry when you're beaten down then nothing will change just like this nation but I'm going to change this nation only power not just words kind of power we're going to learn ninjutsu from who the hidden leaf ninja who were fighting against hanzo <gasps> i didn't see a single one of their corpses they all went up against hanzo and they survived it this must be incredibly powerful maybe <laughs> It's so interesting that they pull, they like they planned, planned it out. out. It wasn't an accident that they like showed up. My mind is made up. Take only non-perishable foods. Just toss the rest? No. Chibi. Rest in peace. Holy shit, they got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Chibi. What are you kids doing here? All this stuff is for you to share with the grocer and the fruit stand lady. I figure, in some ways, we owe you guys. Anyway, take care. We're sorry. <laughs> well, at least they made it right. However, even though we were just kids, those are we creepy. Had no choice but to throw ourselves into the hole. Yeah, we were asking what these were when they were like hanging off their mist. backs. There are toxins in the mist. It'll be the end of us. Wow, and they have cracks in them. Super well, you can sketchy. Get. It's a rain ninja. Are you okay? Stop. Dead body rigged with bombs. A booby trap. Hey, look. How cool am I? <laughs> We're gonna become strong. I know it. Right. But Yahiko refused to give up hope. We headed even deeper into the battle zone. We believe that the greater the intensity of the fighting, the more likely we find the leaves of Zani. This would be such a cool, like, for a video Here. game. Give me your hand. You can do it. Like a Naruto war open world survival game. It would be so cool. Well, at least the explosions have stopped. Oh, that's so scary. Is that a mortar? Oh, they just got caught in the middle of a giant fucking battle. Fuck. Do not want to be in the water with one of those things, like, attached to your back. <laughs> it's like a parachute. I was like, just fill up Yeah, with exactly. Water. Like, how could you swim with that thing, like, bucketing water? Fate had led us right to them. The leaves sunning. We finally found him. I can't, I just can't believe that they were just tracking them down the whole time. Like, they For were- For like a year or something, like- A long time. What'd you think of that episode? I just still can't get over that they just, like- I don't know, I guess because when we met them, they just seemed so, like, helpless. 
Yeah, it seemed like. But in fact, they were like journeying across the land, being like, "We're gonna find these guys, mm -hmm. and they're gonna teach us," which is just so interesting. And that's that's even more interesting because if Jiraiya hadn't already had that prophecy of like, "Oh, you're gonna like find the chosen one and be a teacher," and blah 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 blah. Yeah. He would have just said, fuck you. Like, Tsunade and Orochimaru were like, N no. Mm -hmm. Like, why would we ever do that? Like, you're just, go away. We're in the middle of a war and you're like three children asking us to to get out of here and just teach you. That's not happening. Yeah. But because. And also, like, they're in a, they're in a foreign land. Yeah. These are children of the of their enemy. Yeah, like, like no <laughs> kind of weird. It's it literally no one other than Jiraiya would have taken this on, and Jiraiya only took it on because of his prophecy. Because of his prophecy. Which by the way, he, apparently he had already unless I'm wrong, he had already taught Minato for like a year at this point. So it's that's a kind of weird thing right there. All, like the timeline in Naruto is notoriously fucking really bad. Um for, for stuff like really? that but it's just it's weird like that when you think about that because i thought that this was I his first this was set the of first students one and then, then he... afterwards after they died then he went and sought out like became minato's teacher that's what i thought but apparently i was informed i think in a patreon comment they could be wrong i don't know uh correct us if we're wrong but i think i heard that uh minato was, was trained for a year and the idea was minato was so good that jiraiya didn't need to teach him went off to war like finished his training in a year, went off to war, but mm -hmm. could be wrong on that. But that, that that kind of pokes a hole in this whole thing because it would make way more sense if Jiraiya was looking because for. Because if you, ha I mean, I guess it would. It's because he still... put his journey on hold to fight the war. Yeah. And then afterwards, he went back. You know. Yeah, I guess so. I gu or that... after the war, then he then he was training them, and then he went back to the village or went back mm -hmm. on his journey afterwards. Yeah, I always thought that Minato would have been after this. I thought so too. Regardless, because, I guess either don't, way. Don't think about it too hard. If if I and again, I could be wrong. Whatever. Um, I just read that in a comment today, and I I thought it was worth mentioning. But hmm. either yeah. way, he's like looking for his student. So they're course, really lucky that they found a guy. Who and they're was really lucky. For yeah, they're really lucky that they found literally Jiraiya. Yeah, he's the only one who would have ever taken them on. Um, and. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, and, and but it wasn't just purely coincidence, like we thought, that, like, they just were there, and, and it was, like, almost like fate. Well, yeah. I mean, it still kind of was, but in, it in a... It definitely was. It definitely was, but it's it, in a different way than we would have thought mm -hmm. originally. But it makes... It, it gives you some more insight into their character that they wanted this from, from before, and yeah. it wasn't just like a, hey, give us food. Teach yeah. us ninjutsu, yeah. And it was specifically Yahiko who was, like, leading that. Yeah. For pretty much everything that they were doing, he was pretty much in charge. I also like the line that Yahiko keeps saying about, like, the about Nagato crying when he's beaten down. And he also has, like, applied that several times to the rain country, like, the, the, mm. the country. Because it, like, is always weeping. That's what, that's, like, one of his classic lines that Payne has said, like, since the beginning. That uh, the country's always weeping because it's constantly beaten down by the mm -hmm. other nations and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a sad, depressing place. Mm hmm Yeah, it's a really... Like, it's just... Everywhere that we've seen in there is just... It's a horrible I don't know place. how they get all these, like, watermelons and apples. They must have them shipped in yeah. from elsewhere. I don't know where they're getting them during a, a war, even if they're not in, like, the war zone... But they must be getting them from somewhere else because I don't see how they could grow anything in here unless they maybe had like greenhouses or which they might have. We've seen, remember the Hidden Rain Village was like a metropolis with like crazy yeah. structures and everything. And like it seemed very technologically advanced, which, which, you know. At least so like that area did. That was and the village itself, the Hidden Rain Ninja oh, Village yeah. itself. But I get, I'm assuming like elsewhere, just like in. The, everywhere they have like those dome houses maybe some of them they can grow food inside of because it doesn't seem like anywhere in it's this land. It's not very land. sunny. At least Does, not during this time of year. Like it could be sunny no, other times of year. But it doesn't look like the like there's not not even grass. Yeah that's or, true. Or anything. Or like we haven't even seen like any It is weeds. on the border. It's on the border between 
the the desert, the mountains, and then the forest of like the land of fire. So it's mm-hmm. it's possible they have some good uh, farming land, but whatever. They have food somehow, mm-hmm. and yeah, and they gave back all their food. Well, not all of it. I assume they ate some. Like... I'm not. I, I assume they ate none of the food, <laughs> and they didn't take. But all the leftovers. And yeah, stuff they like that. They tried to make it right. And the dog died. Why they gotta kill the dog? Like every... what? Are you gonna let the dog live? The only, they only let the dog live one time, and that was Poochie, because Poochie ran off from Inari after Inari couldn't swim and, and couldn't save him. The dog just left him in the fucking ocean to drown. That was the only time. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, I guess I guess that's it. I guess we can... I'm Yeah, Naruto seems to be listening to this. Very intently. Very intently. And, um... Yeah, I don't know what Naruto, like, I I guess that's something to talk about. I don't know what Naruto will choose Mm -hmm. at the end of this, whether he will just kill him or just let him go. It seems like, it seems like unless, but also, um, he see like... What? He seems willing to listen, like, pain, like, seems like if... Okay, if you, uh, he's like, oh, I'm I'm gonna not just kill Naruto right now or try and fight him, even though it would be hard. Not only because it would be difficult, but because he wants to hear what he has to say once he hears the full story. So either Naruto is going to be able to convince him of a different way, like, just, like, settling down, hearing all the information, Naruto is going to be able to convince him that this is not the way to go. Mm-hmm. Um... But if he can't do that, and he's still just planning on destroying everything, I don't see, like, then it would be irresponsible for Naruto to let him go and just c- continue doing that. Yeah. So that's... That's what Naruto said at the beginning yeah. of this. Yeah, I'm, d- I'm just, I still can't tell what, like, we aren't done the story, I guess. I'm just interested, Nar- N- but Naruto seems like he is, like, genuinely listening, even though it's hard for him to hear about this, especially because... Like, this guy who killed his master is standing right in front of him, being like, yeah, we sought out that relationship in the first place. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like, it wasn't just coincidence that he was our teacher. We, like, tracked him down, and then he taught us. Mm -hmm. And then I killed him later. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to the next one. See you guys in the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.